Hello, my name is Alberto Cottica. I work at the Council of Europe on a project called Edge Riders. It is about the transition of young people to an independent, active life. If you look at the data, young Europeans seem pretty much like a lost generation. Unemployment is very high, and what's worse, about one person in five is not in employment, education or training. This does not happen only in the early 20s. It actually gets worse as you go towards your mid-30s. What we're looking at here is a general loss of autonomy of the adult population. The young just happen to be in the line of fire. But that's not the whole story. Europe, and indeed the world, are full of extremely entrepreneurial, brilliant, generous, talented young people. They find new paths to activism. For example, leveraging the diversity of backgrounds of second and third generation Europeans to make society more open. They start companies to build large-scale urban games and they are used to reappropriate public spaces and use them in new ways. They move to North Sea Islands to explore the way small communities can switch to renewable energy sources, finding a new sense of purpose as they do so. And they make learning easier to access by launching free peer-to-peer -peer online schools. These people don't work together. In fact, they've never even met. But their activities seem to be connected in a coherent picture. And this picture is that of the world we'll all be living in tomorrow. And by the way, though you certainly can view them as successful, they are, by a measure of success, that is not the same as that normally accepted by the society at large. Many struggle to make a living, or have done so as they started their journeys, just like you or me. How to make a living with integrity? How to live the kind of life that we want? How to have a say in our communities? So many people in Europe and elsewhere, young and not so young, are thinking very hard about these problems, and that makes them, us, the experts. And when you pull together a lot of experts, what you have is a think tank. Edge Riders wants to be the largest think tank in the world on the youth's transition to an independent, active life. How does this work? Well, it starts by exploring the transition space. And that means sharing what we are doing as we build our lives, learning from each other, and figuring out together what to do next. And there is a gaming element. Society is typically not generous with rewards for young people's efforts, but we think it's important to one of them, so we do it with points and stuff like that. The second step is to aggregate individual journeys into common solutions, generate a policy vision and bring it to the attention of the European and national authorities. The space where we do all this is an interactive online platform called Edge Riders, developed here at the Council of Europe based on free software. Edge Riders is designed to be scalable, so whether you're a regional government, a local authority, a private or third sector organization, if you care about this problem, please come see us and we'll discuss possible partnerships. Meanwhile, good luck with your journey.